hello everyone, and pancake to all. Imagine a world where huge machines move as if they are dancing to an invisible melody of progress. Giant presses compress metal with the force of thousands of tons, and robotic manipulators perform operations faster than we can blink. This is not a scene from a science fiction movie, but our future. And it has arrived, today. In this episode, we will embark on a journey through the most amazing productions on the planet, where technology has reached an incredible level. You will see mechanisms that look like something out of horror movies or a crazy video game. Yet, they create things without which no aspect of our lives would be possible. You will see the most massive, mesmerizing processes from the hypnotic precision of modern machines to the frightening automation of productions where there are no people at all. It will surely take your breath away. Ready to dive into this thrilling reality? Make yourself comfortable. Our tour of the factories of the future begins. Poultry Farm of the Future a pleasant and healthy breakfast is considered to be a fried egg dish made from at least two or three eggs. It's convenient if you live in the countryside or in a private house and have your own chicken coop. You can simply step out of the house and replenish your supplies. But most of us are city dwellers, and in that case, we rely on large poultry farms, where millions of eggs are produced daily. In a modern automated poultry farm, all key processes are optimized to the maximum and controlled using modern technologies. The chicken coops are designed to be as comfortable as possible for the chickens. Special programs control the microclimate and nutrition, while another ensures cleanliness in the cages. The floor is made at a specific angle so that the eggs gently roll onto a soft conveyor belt. They are then transported to the sorting workshop, where a whole system of smart cameras and manipulators sorts the product by weight, cleanliness, and integrity. Next, they go through a washing and drying process. Everything is completed by a robotic manipulator. At the end of its metal arm are vacuum suction cups that gently pick up the prepared eggs and place them in trays. Some poultry farms are additionally equipped with lines for preparing boiled eggs, or lines for separately processing yolks and whites. Sweet miniature clouds. There's nothing nicer than having a cup of hot cocoa on a cold evening. And if you add a dollop of whipped cream and five, six, or better yet, more fluffy marshmallows. But have you ever wondered how these marshmallows are made? And how do they make the large, twisted, and colorful marshmallows? The journey of the sweet and tender treat begins with preparing the gelatin. The required amount is pre-soaked in a giant vat of cold water. While it swells, the syrup is prepared. Sugar and corn syrup are mixed with water and heated to 383 degrees Kelvin. Then the prepared syrup is slightly cooled to 367 and transferred through pipes to a common mixing vat. There, the swollen gelatin is already waiting maintaining a temperature of at least 353. Kelvin, huge whisks, beat the mixture for 10, and sometimes even 20 minutes. The longer the process, the fluffier and more airy the marshmallow becomes. Once the beating is complete, the resulting mixture is poured onto a conveyor belt with starch. The final shape of the sweets is determined by small trays with pre-pressed molds or simply a starch cushion for a very, very long marshmallow, which can, in turn, be braided into colorful and very tasty twists. After cutting and weighing, the marshmallows are packaged. And now we can finally enjoy a warm and tasty evening under a blanket. Very sharp, very tasty. Among your relatives and friends, it won't be hard to find fans of crunchy pickled vegetables. We know the usual pickled cucumbers and tomatoes, but sour, crunchy, and spicy kimchi is steadily gaining special affection worldwide. A hallmark of South Korea and a confident place on the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. Every year, an astounding four and a half billion tons of this spicy side dish are produced. After harvesting, the vegetables are taken to the first stage thorough washing. During the process, spoiled and damaged leaves are removed. Next, depending on the size of the factory, the cabbage is either cut in half manually or through conveyor belts with circular saws, and a cut is made near the root. The prepared product is placed in vats with very salty water and left for initial marination for at least a day. The secret to the taste of kimchi lies in the marinade with various additives. It is very complex, and every Korean housewife has her own special ingredient to add a unique touch. But in mass production, they stick to a basic composition. First, the base of the marinade is created. Garlic, onions, and fresh ginger are the first to go into the grinder. The spiciness and color will be provided by hot chili peppers, which are pre-cleaned of seeds. Literally in the neighboring workshops, 
a special jelly and fish broth are being prepared. Rice flour or very sticky rice is mixed with cold water and brought to a boil. When everything is ready, all parts of the marinade are combined into a thick, scarlet paste. Finally, thinly sliced carrots and chopped green onions are added. And here is the final conveyor line, where workers manually and carefully coat each leaf of salted cabbage with the marinade. In principle, at this stage, the appetizer is already ready. But, according to Koreans, the cabbage reaches its peak flavor after being aged for at least one month. Hmm, donuts. Homer Simpson, did you know that donuts are not just a sweet treat, but a whole cultural phenomenon? They have become stars of cartoons, memes about police officers, and of course, the favorite dessert of millions of people around the world. The secret to their popularity lies in the variety of types. They can be classic, with powdered sugar or extravagant, with chocolate or cream filling. There are many varieties of donuts. In Germany, they are Berliners with custard. In New York, they are cronuts made from puff pastry. And in Norway, they are small trinks, whose secret flavor lies in frying not in regular oil, but in melted lard. But how are these culinary masterpieces created? The process begins with preparing a special dough with a texture reminiscent of soft clay. In large-scale productions, two main methods are used. The first is extrusion, where the dough is portioned out. The method of rolling into a single sheet is also used, from which the donut blanks are cut out with knives on a conveyor. The most crucial. Stages, frying. Here, the temperature is crucial, ranging from 438 to 458 Kelvin. This ensures a golden crust without burning. After frying, the donuts are carefully rid of excess oil. And then comes the most anticipated moment, adding the filling and glazing. This is where all the creativity is revealed. Of the pastry chefs, there are dozens of variations of fillings like creams, jam, all kinds of chocolate, and the shiny glaze with colorful sprinkles easily overcomes any dietary barrier. An interesting fact, in different countries there are their own traditions for serving donuts. In Germany, they are often filled with strawberry or plum. Jam, while in the USA they prefer options with cream filling and glaze. Healthy can be tasty, if you consume a lot of sweets. Or salty foods you can develop, serious health problems. It's important to eat properly and avoid unhealthy snacks. A healthy option would be, for example, a whole grain bar. The main ingredients for whole grain bars include oatmeal, rice or corn flakes, nuts, seeds, and dried fruits provide flavor and essential micronutrients. Whole, grains are pre-processed, washing, steaming, or boiling. In some recipes, frying is also allowed. Then all the ingredients are thoroughly mixed in large mixers. It's important to achieve even distribution of all components. To ensure the bars hold their shape, a binding agent is added. This can be honey, maple syrup, or agave syrup. The resulting mixture is pressed into molds or onto a conveyor belt and evenly spread across the surface and shaped. After shaping, the bars are cooled so that the binding agent hardens, making the bars more stable. After cutting, the finished bars are packed in individual packaging and passed through a metal detector for safety. Of course, there are healthy bars made with special recipes for those who are allergic to a specific ingredient or several. Immediately. Eternal vinyl. Now that we've had a good snack, we invite you to settle comfortably in a chair, cover yourself with a blanket, and immerse yourself in the magic of music from a vinyl record. The production of vinyl records is a complex and meticulous process that requires precision and attention to detail. The preparation begins with mastering. The compositions are specially adapted for vinyl. It's important to consider the dynamic range and volume, here to avoid. Distortions and the needle jumping. Then, a master disc is created using special equipment. This can be a lacquer disc or a copper using DMM technology. The engineer manually creates the gaps between songs. To avoid damaging the original, he wears anti-static clothing. The master is coated with silver and immersed in a nickel solution. After galvanization, a metal negative is produced. A stamper for pressing. One such stamper can produce from 500 to 1,000 records. Once the important part of production is completed, the stage of manufacturing the records themselves and transferring the compositions from the matrix begins. Granules of polyvinyl chloride are melted at a temperature of 470, 3 degrees Kelvin. Under a pressure of 220,000 pounds, records are formed with the sound grooves already in place. The entire process takes about 30 seconds for each copy. 
this entire complex and meticulous process continues to be perfected. Also that we can enjoy special music with romantic. Evenings. Mansion, supercar, spaceship when set. A million possibilities. What delights children around the world the most and simultaneously develops? Fine motor skills and imagination? The answer can be found at the Lego factory. It is here that every day millions of pieces are created so that every child and even adult can fulfill their dream. Colorful plastic granules melt at a temperature of 500 Kelvin. Then the mixture is fed through extruders directly into molds, after which the blank is quickly cooled and separated into individual brick blocks, creating one. Piece takes only 25 seconds. Assistant robots sort the finished pieces, forming both special theme sets and simple ones, without rules and restrictions. The manipulators are so precise that they can distinguish a difference of two thousandths of an inch between pieces. Interesting facts, the very first. Lego set was called Automatic Binding Bricks and was released in 1949. It became the precursor to the creation of a complete system, the official launch of which was announced only in 1950. 5. The most expensive Lego set is considered to be the set called Clumsy Hans, which was created based on the tales of Hans, Christian Andersen. In 2015, a limited edition of 80 copies was released. Its price ranges from 7 to 10 thousand dollars. The Millennium Falcon, set created based on George Lucas's Star Wars films, is considered priceless. At the time of the set's release, its price was $6,000. A true men's hobby. Sometimes we just want to take off and drive a few dozen miles to a lake. To enjoy the tranquility of nature and have a delicious fish lunch. But if a particularly large and strong fish bites, the world around you slows down and you pray that your fishing rod holds up. You can increase your chances with a carbon fiber spinning rod. From a pre-made fabric consisting of carbon threads, strips of different lengths are cut for each section. The craftsman, using a rigid base, wraps the strips layer by layer, coating each with a special resin. When the blank hardens, it's time to form the desired geometry of the rod. During the final processing, the rod is sanded and decorative elements are applied. Finally, a protective coating is applied and the necessary fittings are installed. To ensure the rod doesn't fail you at the most crucial moment, it is essential to conduct strength testing. The strongest carbon rod is considered to be Shimano YSAXE SPG. It is excellent for catching medium and small fish, while its design ensures a long service life and resistance to mechanical stress. Interestingly, the official record for fishing with a carbon rod belongs to the American art. Weston. He caught a Mississippi alligator gar weighing 280 two pounds, thus breaking the previous record that stood for 72 years. The fish caught then weighed 278 pounds. Tone, tone, badminton, recreation. In nature can not only be in the form of fishing but also fun sports competitions. If you think that you've overindulged in campfire treats, then wait a little while and play badminton with friends. The main thing is not to lose the shuttlecock. In modern. Manufacturing, materials are very carefully selected for creating shuttlecocks, natural, feathers for professional models or nylon for mass use. When the selection is complete, they are inserted into a preformed head made of composite material. This is usually a mix of cork and synthetic materials. There are several types of shuttlecocks. Besides training and tournament ones, there are specific models for indoor and outdoor play. Since a poorly assembled shuttlecock can ruin the game, its development receives a lot of attention. Modeling each detail in a 3D program. Testing in aerodynamic. Pipes and mandatory weight balancing. Between the head and the skirt. Modern badminton equipment is most often made from recyclable plastic or biodegradable materials. Experimental. Models and those intended for professional sports are made with microchips for analysis. Of speed and rotation. An interesting fact. A professional shuttlecock can travel up to 437 and a half yards before. It needs to be replaced. A future without people, but for people. From appetizing treats and pleasant relaxation, we smoothly transition into the world of robots and gigantism, a place where artificial intelligence and speed converge. Welcome to the intelligent car factory. Nissan in the Tachijai Prefecture of Japan. A fully robotized production without human presence is managed using AI. The capabilities of the plant.
allow for the production of three types of vehicles, electric, hybrid, and classic with internal combustion engines. The production is organized in such a way that human presence is minimized. Artificial intelligence independently analyzes incoming data and formulates. The production program. Robotic manipulators carry out almost all stages of assembly, stamping, of parts and their welding, coating the body with protective compounds, painting, and of course, the final assembly of all the components involved in the vehicle. The goals of creating such an ultra-modern plant were to overcome the shortage of skilled labor and to reduce production costs. So far, it has already been possible to achieve a reduction in energy consumption of production by 25% and increase the efficiency of manufacturing processes. The greatest achievement has been noted as the improvement in the quality of the products being produced. In the future, Nissan plans to extend the experience of fully robotic assembly lines to all its plants worldwide. My home is my fortress. You surely know that building a house is a long, tedious, and very complex process. But friends, we are fortunate to live in an era where 3D printing technology exists. It has given a powerful boost to the construction industry and led to the creation of giant printers for printing houses, an innovative method of construction that allows for the creation of complex structures using robotic systems. Here's how it works. Of course, everything starts with a three-dimensional model of the future building, scaling, and dividing it into layers. It's important not to forget to add support, structures to support the elements. Once this crucial stage is completed, it's time for the special 3D printer with an extruder for working with concrete. Careful adjustment of printing parameters to achieve the desired accuracy. And you can proceed to the main task, the process of printing our future cozy nest. The process itself is quite meditative. Layer by layer application of concrete. Material onto the platform at a speed where the layers have time to either spread out nor fail to bond with each other. The robotic arm with an extruder at the end moves along a predetermined path. And the walls literally grow before your eyes. The advantages of this technology are very significant reduction in construction time, and decreased labor costs, with wide possibilities for creating architectural forms ranging from simple to very complex. Some experts note the improved energy efficiency of such buildings. Of course, there are also some specific aspects in such production. Currently, only low-rise buildings can be printed, and for successful printing, special expertise in concrete printing and knowledge of working with mixtures are absolutely required for such megaprinters. Peaceful Adam. To provide enough energy for all our productions from the video, it will not be enough to use gas, coal, or the power of water from hydroelectric stations. The most efficient source has been and remains the nuclear power plant. You have surely read articles or watched videos more than once about how it is extracted and fuel for reactors is created. We will tell you how the vessel itself is made. The creation of a nuclear reactor vessel is a complex and high-tech process that requires precision and adherence to strict standards. Safety standards. The very first and most important stage is the design of the vessel. Engineers meticulously develop the blueprints, taking into account the requirements for strength and heat dissipation. In the initial stages, the importance of radiation protection for both employees and the station itself is also emphasized. Special alloys are used for the vessel. Stainless steel and nickel alloys ensure durability and resistance to corrosion. Proper material processing is crucial. Complex parts of the vessel are manufactured with high precision using modern technologies, and the largest in the world. Andals and pneumatic hammers, cutting the necessary openings, and welding the vessel elements into a single unit with a powerful laser takes a lot of time. After production, the parts are assembled into a single vessel. Only highly qualified employees can be admitted to this stage. The finished product undergoes numerous inspections and tests under strict quality control. Each vessel undergoes testing for strength and tightness. This is critically important for ensuring the safe operation of the reactor. The creation of a nuclear reactor vessel is the result of teamwork among engineers, workers, and scientists. Aimed at ensuring safe and efficient energy for the future, we have reviewed the most impressive manufacturing processes of our time. Each of them is not just a technological breakthrough, but a step towards a more efficient, eco-friendly, and smarter future. Along with you, we have explored the very best. And how many more such wonders fill our amazing world? These productions not only change it for the better, but also demonstrate how technology can solve the most complex challenges. See you in the next video.